Hello everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here and I just got a new vanity for my uh, rental property. It's going to go in the upstairs bathroom. Um, if you saw my other videos, uh, what my upstairs bathroom looks like and pretty much how me and my girlfriend are remodeling it uh, together. Well, my entire house we're trying to remodel, but um, together. And uh, so this is what I got. I got it from Home Depot. This was pretty much my only option for around the price. Any lighted mirror um, medicine cabinet that I looked at was easy, easily starting at $400 for like any size. This was $230 bucks and my tenant was technically paying for it because he's the one who busted it up. So, um, so I got the cheapest one for him. I mean, the one that he broke is $375 plus tax and shipping and whatever. But instead, I got this for $230, which was pretty much $150 cheaper, is what I saved him. And I got this because I'm a nice guy and we're all in hard times, so whatever. Anyway, um, and I'm a nice landlord, so you can know I'm a nice landlord. Just don't fuck, just don't screw with me or take advantage of me because it's not fair. So we're going to open this up, see what it looks like, make sure it's not broken because I saw a little um, hole on the side of the box and this is glass mira you know i don't want anything broken so let's open it up see what it looks like guys um that i got i think i got like a 24 inch roughly so it comes packaged all like this as you can see i'll come up close to it so it doesn't look like anything's broken the side that was punctured was the back not the glass part um so we're just gonna do a quick review and it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm looking at it. So far, it looks good. The plug is up here that's going to get plugged in. I'm going to hardwire mine. See, the plug is right here. I'm going to hardwire mine. So, but this is uh, the lights come out up in here. And yeah, it looks in good shape. So I think, I think we're good. Okay, so I'm going to package this back up. I just wanted to show you what it looks like, how it came, made sure it wasn't broken. We're going to come back and. Uh, we're going to open it up at the house, and you guys will see me install it and a whole review on the whole thing. All right? So uh, I'll be back, guys. Probably uh, not till tomorrow, but I'll be back. All right, bye-bye. Uh, all right, guys. We're back. We're at the house. We opened it up like you saw already, and uh, let's get this thing opened and uh, get the exact measurements of it so I know how this bathroom is going to be looking here because um, I want to center it. So, we're going to see what's up. Oh, man, all the floors need to get clean. I'm walking around barefoot. Everyone's going to be mad at me. Whatever. Uh, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. No one likes me. Okay. So, let's put this up so we can kind of get it out of the box. Because that doesn't make sense. Of sense. So, we got this. It's kind of already fallen out, which is cool. We don't want it to fall, though, because it is glass. Let's uh, see if it'll come out easy. That's pretty small, not as big as I thought. I mean, it's not deep either. Uh, like I said, this was the cheapest um, option that I had, and the only reason I went with the cheapest option, you know, like I said, is because I didn't you know, want to play my tenants out. So I was trying to get the cheapest of whatever. We'll see what happens when they want to try to take me to court and tell me I'm unfair when my house is damaged, but that's cool. Um, yeah, so that's the, that's the vanity. So, I mean, yeah, I keep saying vanity, that's the, uh, the medicine cabinet. So it comes with this, I guess, so these don't bang around. Um, so hopefully they didn't work and everything's gonna work properly. This can, you could probably use this for some. This seems pretty cool. So here's the inside. Oh, I got a little dizzy going up and down. That's because I'm, uh, you know, I drank too much coffee. So the lights, somehow the wires run in the door, which is kind of cool. So it does tip forward. Uh, has two glass shelves in there, as you can see. They put the uh, the thing on there, um, the uh, the foam. And yeah, um, there's some kind of um, I don't know what's at the bottom. There's something. I'm gonna go over it. Let me uh, let me lower the camera so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Let me see. 
Okay, we'll lower here. Okay, now. See, there's something in the corner right there. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe where the batteries go. Oh, batteries, it's a, it's, it runs on a 120 volt on batteries. Anyway, um, so yeah, they put this in there. I think it looks nice. I mean, for what I got, it has the um, slow closers. I like that. Um, it's pretty cool, okay. Has the bumpers on it, you know? I mean, those usually come off and you gotta buy new ones, but has the bumpers on it. And pretty much it. This is what the back of it looks like. I don't know what that is. Um, we're, I think that's just maybe the junction box, the black box right here. We're gonna open it up and you're gonna see more of it as we're going through and me and my girlfriend are gonna be installing it, but there is wires blue and black going to each side i think for the leds i guess uh because leds are usually um you know they don't color code them like black and red i mean black red white you know so they got blue in here because i think that's like you know 12 volt or maybe 24 volt who knows uh hello everyone we're back with glenn velver reviews here and um another day in the in the apartment um uh, I gotta do the, uh, I'm gonna do the uh, medicine cabinet today. So I'm gonna put that on. You're gonna see what that looks like. Um, I have it right there, sitting in the bedroom over here on the floor. See right there, I got it right there. Um, so I just gotta look at the directions a little bit and see what's up. Cause it has like a rail system or something on it. I don't know, I never, you know, me, I just, you know, you look for the strongest point, I drill it right into the stud. Uh, you know what I usually do, but I can't do that. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna do that now because it has this weird thing sticking out of the back. So let me see what I could do about that. I don't know how that's gonna go yet. Let me read the instructions. We'll get back to you on that. But right now, um, we're gonna, we're in the process of doing the installation. But this trim right here is gonna be in my way um, because there's a button on the side of the mirror to turn it on and off on the right side. So uh, it's gonna be in the way of that. Um, it's going to be in the way over there of that and plus I want to be able to push the uh, medicine cabinet all the way over to the right as much as possible so I measured up two feet of where it's going to go pretty much uh, I measured up two feet of where it's going to go I'm going to cut right here um, I'm going to, you know, measure again the vanity just to be 100%, but I'm going to cut this out. Make sure you use a razor blade and cut around your trim uh, before you go ripping it off or anything like that because what's going to happen is you're going to rip off the paint. I know this is going to be behind, but who cares? But why do more damage? That doesn't make sense. Alrighty, so I made the mark of where it is exactly so we're not messing around here. So it's going to go on there. There's where my line is right here. So I'm gonna go like one of, I'm gonna go just a little bit less than that. Um, like I said, eighth of an inch lower than the two foot. Um, I'm gonna go like a, a little hair above that, uh, just so I got wiggle room and play room. And what if this tile is not 100% even and I gotta move it left to right? Uh, that's not gonna work. You're gonna need play, you know what I mean? So I would do like an eighth of an inch so you can make sure it's gonna be a nice, even uh, looking, um, you know, mirror. Um, so let's uh, cut this out real quick. I'm using uh, the Dremel. This is just quick, um, you know, easy, it's for small stuff. And uh, I already have the wood with nails. There is no choice. I did reviews of these blades if you saw my other videos. They're Craftsman, I got them at Lowe's. Uh, Chris Craftsman is at Lowe's now or whatever. Um, so I put it in there. This is wood with nails. I used the other one. It finally wore down after cutting a lot of laminate floors and under the doorways. It finally wore down. I thought it was going to last longer, the Craftsman, but, um, you know, that could have been me when I was doing under the doorways. I might have been hitting the steel frame, so maybe that's why it wore out. So just to let you know, maybe, maybe it's just, you know, my fault. I was hitting the tip of the metal. Uh, hello everyone, uh, we're back with Glenn Velvet Reviews uh, today on another uh, day in my uh, property here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm still messing around with this damn mirror. And uh, so we lined it out, we saw th those are the brackets, that's what they look like. I had these in, the, uh, the Green Acres. Um, I don't know, what are these rated for, like 35 pounds? So we had these in at first. I, God damn this wire. Um, 
so we had them in at first, I tightened them up, and then they started spinning. I could you could use silicone, put it in there, leave it for a little bit, um, and then tighten it, and then it'll tighten inside the, um, inside the sheetrock. You could do it that way. I didn't feel like doing that right now. I wanted to get this done as quick as possible. And if you do use silicone, like, it's not for a lot of weight, you know, it's only maybe for a mirror or, you know, stuff you're not going to touch, you know what I mean? This is going to be actual medicine cabinet, so the doors are going to be opening and closing a lot. Um, and they're also going to have four inches of space um, to, you know, load up in there. So with four inches of space, you could probably put 32 ounce, you know, bottles in there. Um, and 32 ounce bottles, you know, weigh uh, a good amount if you put three or four of them in there. So I'm thinking about that, and um, so that's the only thing. So that's why I want to make it a little bit better. So I got the wing nuts or butterfly nuts, whatever uh, everybody calls them, because everybody has like 10 different names for these things. Um, so uh, toggle bolts, um, whatever. Um, so I got these. Um, I always use these when I got to use them for a lot of weight. You know, anything 50 pounds or more, I usually just stick a crap load of these in. This way, in order for these to break, uh, the whole entire wall would have to rip out. Um, well, not the whole wall, but, you know, like a huge, huge space where, you know, when you use um, an anchor, all it takes is uh, this little space, you know, to rip out, and then, then you've got your shelf broken. This, you know, has a surface area of, look how big, you know? Especially if you make the, um, especially if you make... What's it called? Um, if you make the hole very tight, then you'll have a, you know, obviously if you make the hole friggin' an inch big and you try to use that, that's kind of stupid. So anyway, I'm using that, I'm tightening them in. You see, uh, if you ever use them, um, you know, they open up in the wall. See, they're in there right now. This is not, I just used, this is a green one. I'm just using this to hold it in while I mess with these. And I'm only going to need two and two to hold up this. These things are rated. I've seen you put 150 pounds um, on these things. Uh, and I don't think anyone's going to put 150 pounds in my cabinet. So, um, so yeah, so you go like that. You hold them, and then you, uh, you know, tighten them, and then they tighten. There's probably some tips and, um, look at this, can't even see. Um, there's probably some tips and tricks that people will show you, um, you know, how to tighten these things, especially if there's a washer, it's a lot easier, but um, all you do is just, uh, you know, pull it like this. I'll do this one because it's longer. You just pull it and hold it, and then it tightens up in the wall, okay? And that's it. It pulls itself in. See, so now it's very short. See, so then it'll tighten. Um, don't over-tighten them. Um, you have to understand you're using a drill and using the, a screw to pull it in. So if you over-tighten it, what I've seen, what happens is the, uh, this will just end up breaking. This will end up stripping in the wall, and then you have a gap, and then uh, it's just extra work. Yes, I know you can get it out, but do you want to spend extra work cutting and bringing in extra tools you don't need, you know, to the job? Um, you know, this is not a job. This is my property, but I still, my back hurts. I'm going to go to surgery soon, and I really don't need to, um, what's it called, to be dealing with that crap. So you guys will see my surgery. Oh, well, you'll see how that goes and see if the surgery will work for you. Um, so I'm getting uh, that done on my back. Um, anyway, so yeah, this will open up. It opens up like that, but don't over tighten it. And you can strip the heads. So you don't need to over tighten it. You know what I mean? Just tighten it enough that it'll hold, you know? I mean, unless this thing is getting some real vibration, you, like I said, then I would have looked for studs and made a whole, you know, uh, secured system on this bowl made out of aluminum and steel. You know what I mean? It's for a medicine cabinet. Alright, so uh, we're back. This is a update. I, I cleaned out the, uh, obviously I wanted to clean out the bathroom as much as possible. So I cleaned out all the dust so I'm not tracking it everywhere. I set this up on top of here, which is roughly uh, the same exact height as what I need to mount it at. So that's going to work out perfectly. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, I cut a little hole right there in the, um, I had to, what happened was I ripped out the trim because I didn't know the button was so far back. So I cut out the old trim, so I put in new trim. This is PVC, which is better anyway, but it's thicker. So it doesn't really match on the top, 
um, as you can see right there. But this should block enough of it that you won't really notice. Um, but that's PVC in the back, so it's a little bit better than the wood that was on there. Um, it, it was kind of ripped up on the wall right there. I could have used the patch and then painted it and waited forever, but I just used 30 minute um, white silicone. I made it like one eighth of an inch thick. Uh, made, I used, I had a little spackle knife, packed it in there, and I think it looks awesome. You're, from that corner, you're only gonna see this much of it. I think that's awesome. The button's gonna go in there, so even if you reach your hand all the way back, it's only gonna be soft from the silicone anyway. You won't feel any ridge in this. So that was uh, pretty smart on my idea like that. So anyway, the button's gonna fit in there, which is gonna be perfect. I gotta do the electric right now. The electric is a little weird. Um, let me show you what's up. I gotta do continuity because I have to know what's neutral and what is line in. Um, so I have to run continuity right now to figure that out. Um, but here is the inside of the junction box because you guys didn't see it yet. And that's the line and that's what everything looks like. So it says that line, if you notice, is red. I thought it would have been black, the opposite, but whatever. So I'm gonna do line in and neutral and that is even how it comes out of the ballast. See the ballast right here? That's the ballast. So if you need information on it or need a new one, that's the ballast right there. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's it. And then I'm going to run the wire right in here. Sorry. I'm going to run the wire right in here. It's going to clamp on here. They put a little grommet in there to make it a little bit, you know, moisture resistant. It's not really waterproof. I would say moisture resistant. Um, so I'm going to run that through there. We're going to pop that in. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second. We'll be right back. All right. Oh, and it's a very little screwdriver that you need, like the little tiny ones, like the little uh, ones that you use for thermostats. Um, it's very small. Um, that's what I'm going to use. All right. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So uh, let me show you the wiring. So this is the wiring that I did. I labeled it, as you could see. I labeled this one obviously with a black, I'm sorry, with a black marker and then this one is my white, my neutral. So that's kind of what I did because neutral in America is usually white, so I did that. But this is kind of what it looks like, so that's the neutral, that's the line, it's going to come out. I'm going to tighten this strap up right here that I forgot to tighten, but that's the grommet that goes in that's kind of moisture resistant. And then we're going to put this cover on. The cover just goes right on. There's not a gasket for the cover or a seal. They should have put a rubber seal around this so it would have kept the moisture out of this because it doesn't make sense to have the rubber, but then there's no rubber around the whole thing. So that doesn't really make sense. I don't understand that, but it's okay. I mean, I said, like, it's, it's moisture resistant, I would say. Uh, th that would be the, the better term for it. So let's get this thing uh, together and installed and popped on the wall and see what it looks like and then we'll worry about wiring it on the top. Let's pull this up so that doesn't get in the way. Okay. And then I got to pull it down anyway when I put it on. Okay. So let's get this thing installed, see what it looks like, guys. All right. Done and done. Let's get this thing hung. Huh. Kind of rhyme, right? No, not really. All right. Whatever. Felt like a rhyme. I felt cool for a second. Oh wow, that's nice. Look at that, so easy. After you figure it out, it's great. Nice, wow. Okay, so it just goes in like that. Now we're gonna put the level on it. Look how tight that is, nice. All right, so now you learn from my mistake. Take the doors off, do it that way, much easier. Let's put the level on. See what we gotta do to level this baby out. Cause there's more screws in here to make it go left or right. And yep, we need to make this level because it looks like doo-doo. Left side needs to come up. All right, so I'm gonna get the doors on. You guys aren't gonna watch that because that's a waste of your time. And then we're gonna uh, tie up the electric. Black is gonna go to the black one and white is gonna go to the white one. That's it, all right, see you guys back. All right, everyone, we're back with Glen Velvet Reviews. And we um, pretty much have it. Let me lower this a little bit so I have more to whip it around. Okay, so um, 
yeah, so pretty much this is it. Um, this is the final thing that we got. We wired it in. That's all going to get fixed when I put the uh, the vanity light over it. Um, there's going to be another light above it. I know it's going to be really bright in here, but at least you're going to be able to see. Oh, those doors need to be adjusted. Look, one's higher than the other. So that's got to be adjusted and fixed. That's what it looks like from the bottom. A little bit of a gap. Um, so this is the finished result. See, that's what it's going to look like. I hit it over. Nice and even. Everything looks nice. Slow closing doors. All right. I dirtied it really bad, so she's going to have to uh, fix it. And here it is with the lights on. Ready? It's not what I thought with the lights on. Um, not as bright as I thought. I guess, what do you want for 12 volts? I don't know. Um, you have to really go close um, with your face in order to, um, yeah, you have to go close, really close with your face to, um, in, in order to use the lights properly, um, to get use out of them, but if you need to pop a pimple, it's pretty good, you can get really close, see it lights up in my hand, see how bright it gets, watch, see my hand is really bright, so if you need to pop a pimple, check some eyelashes, it's really nice for that, and there's some on the top, which I don't know why is that, because I can't reach, maybe for someone that's tall, maybe to look at their hairline, I don't know, so the ones on the top, so, that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews on the install of it um, and putting it in and uh, what it looks like and all the rest of it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. Thanks a lot, guys. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye.